This is the Panasonic X2, their new camcorder with a 20x zoom lens and 4K recording up to 60p onto SD cards. And if that sounds and feels a bit familiar to you, well, it's because it probably is. This is the Panasonic CX350, which was launched three years ago now, and this is their new X2. It has the same lens, same sensor, pretty much identical features. There are a few big differences, but the main one is that the CX350 has a 10-bit all-eye codec inside. The new one is either Longop or HEVC, there's no all-eye here. So essentially, the X2 is a CX350 for people who want to save a bit of money and not get that all-eye codec, which, considering the CX350 is three years old now, is definitely a bit disappointing at first glance. But I don't think that that is going to stop the X2 being a fantastic camera for some people. The CX350 still holds up really well today as one of the best one inch camcorders on the market. It has sensible features, a pretty fantastic image quality, and it is already at a decent price point compared to its competition like the Canon XF605 and Sony Z280. So an even lower cost option of essentially the same camera is going to go down well with people, I'm sure. And an all eye codec isn't the right choice for everyone. For those who aren't already familiar with all eye, it's a type of recording which is more commonly used in broadcast. It ends up in larger file sizes, but is much easier for editing software to play back. So normally performs better once you're editing. But for longer record times, Longop and HEVC will fit far more footage onto the same card and be just as good really in terms of picture quality. So it does depend on the type of work you do as to whether all eye, HEVC or long up will be the right choice and whether that CX350 is worth the extra money to step up to or not. But it's nice now to have a choice. As for the camera's other features, the lens is a 20 times optical zoom range, which is a 35 mm equivalent of 24.5 to 490 mm. There's two SD card slots, two XLR ports, audio controls and an SDI port. 13 stops of dynamic range with V-Log or HLG, face detection autofocus, and five axis hybrid stabilization. Now most of this is fairly similar to the CX350, but one area that is definitely new is this LCD screen. This is twice the resolution and significantly brighter than the one on the CX350. And it has this excellent pullout design, which is by far my favorite articulating display design. There's also then an even lower cost version of this camera as well called the X20. That's the same camera as this, but with no SDI output, no timecode, no ethernet ports, and no VLOG or HLG recording. So if those features are just of no interest to you, you can save even more money over the CX350 and go for the X20 rather than the X2. So let us know what you think of the Panasonic X2. Would you go for this or maybe that cheaper X20 or step up to the CX350 or perhaps just choose something completely different? Let us know in the comment section and if you want to buy one of these for yourself, head over to provy.co.uk. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.